viewers thanks for joining us on lena tv news i am fola shadi benjamin now the headlines Niger State government secures partnership agreement with JS Bioenergy to promote sugarcane farming. Chairman Khan Niger State advises Muslims and Christian faithfuls to pray for peace and survival of the country. Armed bandits invade markets in Madaka community in Rafi local government. Now the news in full. Niger State government has secured a partnership agreement with JS Bioenergy Limited to promote sugarcane farming in Niger State. The agreement, which was sealed at the government house MENA, had the chairman Niger Foods Limited, Mr. Sami Adigun, signing on behalf of the state government, while the commercial director JS Bioenergy, Sandy L, signed on behalf of the company. Government house correspondent Aisha Gambodan Azumi completes the report. Former Governor Mohamed Omar Bago described the agreement as another milestone in his agricultural revolution of the state aimed at promoting national policy on food security. Statements signed by the Chief Press Secretary to the Governor, Bologi Ibrahim, indicated that the agreement will see to the establishment of large-scale sugarcane cultivation with, within, with focus on eternal production on 10,000 hectares of land. The kickoff of the project is slated within next six months and will cover the construction of sugar growing estate, a sugar processing facility with a decitalary and a biomass facility capable of producing industrial ethanol of domestic and international market. JS Bioenergy will be the providers of the fund necessary to develop the project. Both the commercial director of JS Bioenergy Limited and the chairman of Niger State Foods Limited, Mr. Sami Adiogun, in their remarks highlighted the significance of the project to this agricultural drive of the farmer governor. Muslim and Christian faithfuls in Niger State have been advised to continue to pray for peace and survival of this country. The chairman, Christian Association of Nigeria, Khan, Niger State Chapter, Mr. Bulus Johanna, made the call while speaking to newsmen recently. He said followers of the two major religions should use the month of Ramadan and Lent periods to pray for an end to the lingering security challenges facing the nation. Bishop Bulus Johanna further urged the people to pray for our leaders with particular reference to farmer Governor Muhammad Umar Bagu for God to see him through and overcome every challenge before him. The chairman, who is also the Catholic Bishop of Kotangura, enjoined the faithful to always have the fear of God in their dealings, as according to him, everyone will account for their deeds in the hereafter. The bishop, however, advised them to always pray for an end to the present economic recession and hardship he felt all faced by the people nationwide. Niger State Khan Chairman reminded the Christian faithful to imbibe the spirit and lessons learned even after the Lent period by assisting the needy and less privileged members in the society as exemplified by the Lord Jesus Christ. Bishop Johanna then wished Christian and Muslim faithful a successful Lent and Ramadan fast and prayed God to answer our prayers. Armed bandits have reportedly invaded a market in Madaka community in Rafi local council of Niger State, killing unspecified number of people. The people of the area who confirmed the incident revealed that the attackers invaded the market around 3 p.m. on Thursday when the market was at its peak, shooting sporadically at people. Details of the attack were still sketchy at the time of filing this report, but one of the residents who spoke in confidence said the number of casualties had not been ascertained yet. The Thursday attack came two days after bandits also attacked Pangu Gari, killing the district head and four other people. The Niger State Commissioner for Homeland Security, Brigadier General Bello Abdullahi Mohammed, retired, confirmed the attack. Though he did not give details of the attack, he said the state government was working in collaboration with security agencies to put an end to the incessant attacks on farming communities in the states. 
The Federal Capital Territory Administration, FCCA, has taxed all residents of the nation's capital to keep and protect lives through conservation of water. The Executive Director, FCT Rural Water Supply and Sanitation, Ruasa, Dr. Mohammed Ali Dan Hassan, gave the advice while addressing stakeholders and students during the 2024 World Water Day ceremony at the Government Science Technical College, Area 3, Geriki 1 District, Abuja. Dan Hassan said that the theme for this year World Water Day, which is Water is Peace, is apt. He emphasized that there can never be peace in any society and even to an individual that does not have complete access to clean water supply. And that's about the size of our package on Lina TV News. Do well to follow us on our social media handles at Lina TV 247 or visit our website at www.linatv.com.ng. For news coverage, contact the number scrolling on the screen. Bye for now.